Okay, so I've got this saved, so any skinning I'm going to do here, I'm just going to reload back to the save afterwards, so I don't have to worry if I screw this model up too much, because I'm just going to go back to previous save. So, I know I've saved it, so I'm going to go star bn, or jt capital bn, underscore star, select all those joints, and you can see, because we re renamed these the drv joints, they are no longer going to be selected, which is what we want, we don't want them to be skinned. Shift select skin, skin bind skin smooth bind, and I'll leave these sort of default values in. And I'm just wanting to check, so I'm just gonna show none, show polygons, and show nerves curves. Just so I'll reference the mesh again. Just so we can start trying to look at that default skinning. Now we can see this crumpling back here again. That's just because it's a default skinning. We'll just need to reweight this to this sort of chest ribbon a bit more. So don't worry about that. But we can see here we're not getting that as bad a crumpling. We are getting it pulled out a bit. Again, we just need to reweight that area. But we're just test testing that the new ribbon works as we'd expect. And especially want to test this elbow twist, this elbow crumpling. And you can see here how well that is preserving. We're not getting any sharp crumpling at the moment and that's with default skinning so we haven't really skinned this much, we've just applied the defaults and we're getting that really nice uh, crumple in there. It's not crumpling too much, it's working quite well. Check things like the forearm twist. So because we use that forearm twist joint to skin to the ribbon as well, we're getting that working in there and you can see here how we can get these nice, because the ribbon has several joints in there, we can get these really nice complex twists, that's twisting all the way around. I'm just going to press free on the mesh to smooth it, to get a smooth preview, and we can see we can get even really complex twists in there. And just as a preview, what we're going to do in the next lesson, what I was on about racking up deformers, if I just unparent or right, so I'll, I'll just re yeah I'll just unparent these two ribbon hit shift P because we're just unparenting from the hidden groups it's not parent un it's not going to ruin any things we've got set up like constraints or anything so I'm just going to reshow these um, ribbons hit control D going to unlock and move it up and we'll go into this more in the next lesson so I just want to briefly go over it and then in the next lesson I'm going to explain it in detail but what we're going to do is assign this as a blend shape and then I'm going to switch the blend shape so it's on one thing we always need to do and again I'm going to go over this in more depth in the next tutorial but make sure the blend shape evaluates first and I'll explain why later but it just basically means that we can get this to now edit the spine but we still retain the control to use this with the normal IK and FK controls so you can see here how we can get these really funky I could you know hook these up to clusters hook these up to other joints you know I could skin this to more joints so now we can get these really funky things going on and what I can actually do is go to create deformers non-linear and I'm going to create a sine wave and I'm just going to go show show, de show deformers so we can see that deformer I'll rotate it 90 degrees I'll scale it up a bit oops so it's, yep, it's long enough and with this sine now applied to so basically the sine is going to deform this nerve surface. This nerve surface is attached to the ribbon as a, diff as a blend shape and basically the ribbon will take the blend shape and the joints, so the IK system. And what we can actually do here is we can start so you can see how awesome this is going to be. So we can add a bit of drop off and then here's a really cool thing. Look at that we can get these really funky awesome cartoony sort of controls in there so racking up these deformers you can see how quickly 
to do this we'd have to have lots of controls we'd have to animate them up and down but by adding the ribbon and racking up different deformers like blend shapes and sine waves we can instantly get these really cool animations so we can change like the wavelength of these so we can get these really cool and the beautiful thing about this is it's still a stretchy limb it still bends with IK you know we can still switch to FK and animate with this so this is the way that we're going to be racking up deformers so over the next few, tutori few tutorials we're going to go into a bit more depth of how to set this up but I just wanted to go ahead and show you this before we start doing it and the advantages of why it's good to do this because we can get these really, really advanced controls in there.